When I was 15, I was scrolling on TikTok. I was out playing basketball by myself. It was, a late, it was late at night. And I see a video from Andrew Tate. Never heard of him before, but he's the first type of guy that said to me directly, if you're not in shape, you're a beta, you're a loser. If you're not, if you're not making 10K a month, you're a loser. Right? If you're not getting checks, you're a loser. Yeah. This was old Tate when he was a lot less mature. And that got to me so much. I looked, I'd always looked at myself as, you know, a productive individual, right? I was working hard, I was 15, I was already on the right path. But when I started scrolling on TikTok more, because I started posting on TikTok, this led to me uh, developing an addiction of comparing myself to other people on a daily basis. Because I thought I was doing so well, but I've realized, shit, I'm really not doing that well compared to these guys. I'm making 50 bucks a month comparing myself to people who are making millions. Now I'm gonna come back to this story later because it's very important and it's the root of everything that I touch on in this video. So two years later, three months ago from this point on, I was at 10,000 subscribers on YouTube and overnight I had gained a, like about a 500 subscribers overnight. The most subscribers I, I'd gained in the day up to that point was like 400 I think it was. So 500 in a night was insane. I couldn't believe it. I went on to gain I think 1.5 thousand to 2 thousand subscribers that day from a certain short videos that had popped off and I only got it started to get more and more and more. It went from three to four to five to 10,000 subscribers in a day. And in a matter of uh, 90 days, I'd reached 300,000 subscribers on YouTube out of nowhere. I was not ready for this. The responsibility I had now, yeah, to cater for 300,000 subscribers, it was insane. I was not ready for it, bro. I wasn't because my video production quality was like that of a 10,000 subscriber YouTuber. I'm not saying YouTubers with low subscribers make shit of videos, no, of course not. But I had more responsibility now. And that put a lot of stress on me. I've gotten used to it now, it's, I've gotten used to it now, but when I first hit that goal, hit, hit that number, I was just, whoa, like what the fuck? Like yeah, I'm cool that I've had this success, let's fucking go, I'm very lucky. However, I'm not ready for this shit. I'm perfecting every single video, which has taken up mental space in my head. I'm going to bed late, I'm waking up late, my sleep is shit. I'm comparing myself to now, not just people that were under 10,000 subscribers doing better than me, but I'm comparing myself to everyone now. Right? I'm comparing myself to David Gongan's mentality, how much money Andrew Tate makes, everything. Like, it's been a toxic mindset since I was very little. Right, that's just me though. I am still struggling with that, but it's gotten a whole lot better and I am very proud of myself for doing that. Right, getting better at that and comparing myself to who I was yesterday. Because damn man, comparison is the thief of joy and that's one thing I can take with me the rest of my life. I'm not, I'm not saying this for, for you to feel sorry for me bro, because I'm very lucky. I just wasn't ready for the, the stress of this. Because I was only a 17 year old kid. I had no idea what the fuck I was doing. So I asked myself, because I'm not resting, I'm just comparing myself in my rest period, I'm not actually doing anything productive. Let's start reading again. Because I haven't read a book in two months, right? Because I've just been spending all my time creating content. I pick up a book and its name is Discipline is Destiny by Ryan Holder. I read through that book and one chapter really sticks out to me, or two. One about balance and one about perfectionism. The one about perfectionism basically goes on to say that the more you think about perfectionism, the more you seek perfectionism in your work, the less either the, the less time you have because the more time you spent on these little things that don't really matter, or the quality of your work decreases. And by work, I'm meaning in my scenario, the videos I make, right? Because the videos I make are pieces of art. Every single video is a piece of art. Same goes for music, everything. Because of this realization, I made a few other realizations as well. I look back to when I was 15 and I really wanted to make 10k a month. I really wanted to get in really big physical shape. And I just wish I asked myself why I wanted that. Because it would have saved me so much mental drainage, it's not funny. Yeah, self-improvement is meant to be productive. It's meant to be about improving your life. 
And that's the soul, that's what it is, bro. But so many people take it too far. Or maybe it's just me. Maybe I just take it too far. But I'm pretty sure someone can relate to me out there. My goals were to grow on YouTube. That was the main goal. But my second goals were to make 10K a month and look like the best I possibly could, right? But why did I want that? Why? Why did I want 10K a month and to look the best I could and get all these chicks? It wasn't because I actually wanted it, bro. I want, what I wanted was to grow on YouTube and inspire our generation. That's what I wanted. The money was just a bonus for me at that point. My goal was to inspire our generation. But I just wanted that 10K a month to get all these chicks because somebody else wanted it. That's what so many people struggle with, bro. Well, not struggle with, but that's what so many people want. They want things because other people want them. And that's what I'd say is genuinely making me dislike the self-improvement community. Self-improvement is not bad. It never was intended to be bad. However, some people take it too far. Ambition is a very good thing. Like no ambition kills people. If you have no goals, it kills people, but too much kills people too. Yeah, really think about it. Too much ambition can kill you. Going too far, stressing yourself out over the little shit that don't actually matter. Might not be physically, but it's mentally. And I experienced a little bit of that. Too much ambition. So I came back to my values as a kid. The 14 year old Jack, 15 year old Jack, when he discovered this self-improvement path, he wasn't comparing himself to any other people. He wasn't fighting for more success. And I asked myself, what did he want? He didn't really care about the subscribers. He wanted two things. He wanted to make this world a better place when he left it. From the time he was born to the time he died, he wanted to make the world just a bit better in those years of living. Number two, he wanted to have fun. That was it. He wanted to enjoy this experience. And I found that the way I was gonna make this world a better place was by inspiring people through content creation because it's the best thing I could probably do. It's the, it's the best way I can reach as many people as I possibly can. Maybe that will change in the future. Who knows, but this is what I'm doing right now. And having fun. Having fun doesn't mean partying and fucking smoking and drinking and all this type of shit. What it means is living in the moment because all the memories you've made, every single one you've made has been lived in the moment. Every single one. You look back to a memory, there was not one memory you can think of where you lived in the past or the future. You lived in the moment. When you, when you are in the mindset of improvement, bro, I want you to be fully present in the mindset of improvement. But when you are ready to live in the moment, when you are ready to have fun, have fun. Yeah, don't be so stressed about, you know, oh, I have to get back to work. Yeah, you can get back to work when you get back to work. All right, come back to your values, why you want certain things. Don't just strive for certain things because other people want them. If other people want something and you want it too, go ahead. But just because someone wants something, doesn't mean you have to as well, all right? Think back to when you were a kid. Seriously, think about it. And what did he want? What did she want? Yeah? Because that's what your inner child is seeking. For me, make the world a better place uh, when you leave it. And number two, enjoy this fucking shit. Yeah? The number one comes first. If I achieve that and I don't really have fun, I don't care. If I have fun and I don't achieve the first one, I'm gonna be pretty pissed off. So number one comes first. But find yours, bro. I had literally no structure for this video. I don't know what the title, thumbnail of this video is gonna be. I just felt a calling to make it. This video was kind of all over the place, but that's the point. That's the, that's the point. <laughs> yeah, so, much love, bro. And I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.